what is going on everybody i have a lot i gotta get done today in this video i have to refinish finish the the frame and everything if i'm gonna want to get this done in time because my deadline i made for myself was halloween so i can ride around on trick-or-treat and be mario on my mario kart so that's my deadline so i gotta get cracking on this thing i've got a lot finished so far but i also have a lot more i need to do so today I'm working on my A arms. I'm working on the side wings of my uh, the cart itself. So where that's where you put your feet because you ride it like a quad. So I got to get those. I got to get the two front bars in the front where my front suspension is going to be connected to. I got to get steering done, but that's probably not going to get done in this video. I got to start my suspension brackets, and I'm going to do a lot of tube bending this bit. Uh, tube bending this video. So. Let's stop wasting more time and get right into this. A wee bit stuck. Ah. I cannot begin to explain how freaking long it takes to make these suspension brackets. I've made four so far, and this took me about three hours to make these four. Three hours, cut them out and drill these holes. And I didn't even get the right size um, drill bit to drill my um, holes for my A-arms and everything. So I had to go buy a drill bit that's freaking $17. Way too much for a freaking drill bit. So. I gotta make more suspension brackets today, but as you can see, there's three holes because it's gonna line up side by side like this. So that way I can adjust what height I want my suspension to be. So that way I can have it riding low to the ground or I can have it real high so I can make jumps with it. So let's get right back into it. Suspension. Now is a good time to note, as I've been working on this today, I have had the Christmas song, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's that one that goes like, from now on, our troubles will be something. I've been whistling it all day, and I don't know why. It's weird. Like, I just have been whistling it all day. It's, it's odd, but it's been stuck in my head for some reason. And it's not even close to Christmas. But any normal person that builds anything, like any engineer or fabricator, anything, knows when you're building something, you tack weld the stuff in place before finish welding everything to make sure that's where you need it so you don't have to cut off more material and perhaps might have to remake the bracket in general but you see i am neither of those things i as of now so i do what i want 
I'm going to be finished welding everything as soon as I put it on the frame. And if I have to cut it off later, that is my fault. I will have to deal with it. But I am not tack welding and finish welding later. Well, hello puppies, come here. You are soaking wet. You are soaking wet, Bruno. Ah, come on. Remember that thing I said about finish welding? It has bit me in the butt. Because now this is not fitting in how it just was. Time to go cut some of this off. Okay, I got a lot done off camera because it's just taking forever and it's easier if I don't have to stop recording, record again and edit everything. So I just stopped recording on this process, but I've got both of my A arms attached on each side. I made my suspension brackets and had to remake it like three, two or three times. It takes forever to make these things and to get it right. And I still haven't even finished welded all of it, but I think it turned out pretty cool, but it, it works, it's just, I have to get my um, tie rods attached and have my steering, make my steering so that way I can actually test the suspension in the front without my tires going wah, like collapsing out. So that's what I'm working on. I got to work on my steering. I'll probably do that in the next episode. And I'm just going to be working on the rear axle now and getting that attached to my frame. So, and the suspension. Suspension should be coming, if not in this video, then in the next. On to that and making these sleeves like a hinge for this thing is probably taking about four hours in total just to get this connected to my frame and it just works i guess just moves along on this so my suspension is going to be connected probably in the next video but After about a couple hours of work, I've got these suspension brackets for the rear done. So that way now my suspension works back here. Yep. I think it looks pretty good. Just gotta put my front a or tie rods on so that way I can actually stand on this thing without my uh, front suspension going all the way to the ground like this there they go need my tie rods sure does look cool though that is going to be it for this video. Finished all my suspension as of right now, other than just some finish welding, which I can do off camera. But as you can see, my tires are starting to cave out a little bit, and that's because I don't have my tie rods on, but that's what these are right here. And here's part of my steering brackets that I'm gonna be working on in the next video, which I'm hoping will be up within the next week and a half at the most, if not this upcoming week of my steering and front um tie rods which i have a feeling might not get done that quick because never really worked with this before and it is a little hard so i think i'm gonna have to modify this a little bit in order to make it work which i'm hoping it will so that's all for this video hope you enjoyed like and subscribe